5,000-pound aircraft has a 132-foot wingspan and hits speeds of 300 miles per hour. It's 300 miles per hour, guys. Too fast. <laughs> Hello and hi, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today I'm going to do a reaction on a video about the channel of US military news. And today we're going to see this is America's AC 130 gunship on steroids. Wow, what amazing title it is! And I can't wait to watch this video. And before we start, I would like to thank everyone who already supported me by subscribing my channel. Thank you. And for those who are still not yet subscribed, please do so because I really need it. I really, really gonna appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, good people. And without further ado, everyone, let's go and watch this video with me. Let's go. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Wow. This is America's lethal AC-130 gunship on steroids. On steroids? The historic, lethal, and combat-tested AC-130 gunship, known for attacking ISIS and Taliban fighters during close air support high-risk combat missions, is getting a massive technological upgrade with newer weapons and avionics to increase the effectiveness of the attack platform and extend its service life into future decades, service officials said. AC-130 gunship work involves upgrading the plane with weapons, targeting systems and sensor packages, Colonel Robert Toth, Chief of Tactical Aircraft, Special Operations, and Combat Search and Rescue Division, told Scout Warrior in an interview. Early variants of the AC-130 gunship first entered combat in the late 1960s during the Vietnam War. Later variants served in the Gulf War, War on Terror, and War in Afghanistan, among other missions. The gunships operated by both the Air Force and Special Operations Command are often used to support Special Operations fighters on the ground engaged in combat. Special Operations fighters. The aircraft is known for its 105mm side-firing cannons, which enable it to fire from a side-axis position during close-in combat supporting ground troops. The AC-130 gunship also has a 25mm Gatling gun and a 40mm weapon according to Air Force statements. The Lockheed Boeing built aircraft uses four Allison T 56 A 15 turboprop engines, each with 4,300 shaft horsepower. Wow, that's the 155,000 so pound aircraft has a 132 foot wingspan and hits speeds of 300 miles per hour. It's 300 miles per hour, guys. Too fast. Crew consists of a pilot, co pilot, navigator, fire control officer, electronic warfare officers flight engineer, TV operator, infrared detection operator, loadmaster, and four aerial gunners. The AC-130 Spooky 2 gunship is a standard C-130 transport aircraft engineered for close air support combat. Its 105mm gun, called an M102 howitzer, fires 33-pound high-explosive shells at a firing rate of 10 rounds a minute, according to a report in Popular Mechanics. The weapon has a range of up to seven miles and is the largest gun ever operated from a U.S. Air Force aircraft, the report said. The aircraft's 25mm Gatling gun, the GAU-12, is the same weapon now on the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The weapon fires both high-explosive incendiary and armor-piercing incendiary rounds against enemy fighters, buildings, and light vehicles, Popular Mechanics writes. C-130 Fleet C-130 Fleet Look at that, that's a lot of them. The AC-130 gunships make up a small portion of a fleet of roughly 500 C-130 planes throughout the Air Force and Special Operations Command, Toth explained. Are they going to fly the together? The planes are used to airdrop supplies, equipment, weapons, and troops in forward deployed locations. As a propeller-driven aircraft, the C-130s can fly and land in more rugged conditions 
and withstand harsh weather such as obscurance. The propellers make the aircraft's engines less susceptible to debris flying and causing operational problems for the engine. Wow, the strong it one. It allows you to do that tactical movement of equipment and personnel to take the airplane to the last tactical mile. A lot of our transport strategic airlifters are meant to go to a hard runway to a hard runway somewhere, and then they turn over the cargo to be moved to the forward areas to a C-130 or a vehicle. The C-130 allows you to take that cargo and land on a smaller runway or unimproved airfield, Toth added. C-130s are used for domestic, international, and war zone transport, including homeland security, disaster relief, and supply deliveries, among other things. There are probably missions that have yet to be dreamed up for the C-130, Toth said. The fleet consists of 135 more modern C-130J aircraft and 165 older C-130Hs, which have been around since the 80s, Toth explained. Also, MC-130Js are specially modified airlifters engineered to transport Army Green wow. Marines, Navy SEALs, and Army Rangers. Oh my God. They are essentially a C-130J further modified with defensive systems, with radar countermeasures and infrared radar and advanced sensors for specialized missions. They can also perform in-flight refueling, Toth explained. C-130 Modernization C-130 modern, modern, Modernization wow. the C-130 fleet to ensure the airframes, wing boxes, avionics, and communication systems remain safe and operational. This is particularly true of the older 1980s era C-130Hs, Toth added. The thing that causes the greatest risk to the airplane is the life of the wing. We monitor the wing of the aircraft, and as the wings get past their service, we bring the airplanes back in and bring in new structures, with the primary focus being the center wing box, which is the area where the wings mount to the fuselage, Toth said. As for when a C-130 requires a maintenance upgrade to preserve and maintain service life, the Air Force uses an assessment metric referred to as equivalent baseline hours. The wing boxes are changed once the aircraft reaches a certain severity factor in its operational service time. This is necessary because the wear and tear or impact of missions upon an airplane can vary greatly depending upon a range of factors, such as the altitude at which a plane is flying, Toth said. Low-level flight may be three to four times the severity factor of flying at a higher level, he said. Avionics Modernization Program Increment 1 involves adding new 8.33 radios to the aircraft to improve communication along with initiatives to upgrade this is the great voice one. recorders and digital data recorders. C-130s will also receive new collision avoidance technology designed to prevent the planes from hitting terrain or colliding with one another midair. AMP Inc. 2 involves a larger scale effort to integrate digital avionics throughout the airplane. Inc. 2 will require nine months to one year of work to be completed by 2028, Toth explained. This will allow us to bring the airplane from analog to digital, integrate a glass cockpit, and use touchscreen display. Wow, by the 2028, this is going to be a very great one, high-tech one. We'll get away from the old systems of avionics where we had dial-driven instrumentation to where it's all digital. This makes us Digital. able to process a lot more information, Toth said. As part of the new C-130 modernization calculus, the Air Force will consider retiring some C-130Hs and replace them with newly built C-130Js. The service has the authority to acquire an additional 20 C-130Js, Toth added. We continue to evaluate where it makes sense to retire an older airplane and instead put that money into buying new airplanes, he said. Wow, that's it. That, that American AC-130 gunship is very superb. It's very big one, you know. And it's going to upgrade the technologies on 2028. It's almost finished. And it's going to be a digital and more high-tech than before. And it's going to be a aircraft who have the gunship and heavily armed, long endurance, ground attack variant, and Hercules transport. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so so um make the air force more stronger and
can you see how big it is how big is ac 130 it's very big one and for me i think um as an attack platform they are the best rating you know super great and as what we can say it's a fascinating piece of uh, creating the technology of course for uh, the, the um, United States of um, Air Force and I think this is the great one the gunship is superb and um, I do really love the video because this video really helped me to understand more about the military and of course this time we know about more about the AC-130 gunship on steroid when and because it's large profile and low operating altitude uh, of approximately 7000 make it an easy target it close air support um mission are usually flown at night and this is superb um american gunship ac-130 marvelous you know <laughs> i think that's it for now uh, as usual if you like this video please share it and liking it and thanks for watching this video with me i would like to thanks also for those who already support me by subscribing my channel and for those who are still not yet please do so because i really need it and really really gonna appreciate it thank you everyone thank you for your support until next video i can't wait to see all of you guys again goodbye take care you went away.